Believe it or not, but I don't think Tyrick is that good a villain. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not a bad villain. He's intimidating and gifted with a silver tongue, so he is capable. The problem is, he's not very well explained. MLP, like many fantasies, falls into the trap of saying, it's magic, you don't have to explain it. Aside from fan theories, we're never given a proper explanation of how magic in Equestria works, or where it comes from, which then weakens it as a plot device. For example, in Harry Potter we are told that the Horcrux contains a small part of Voldemort's soul, and that they can be used to resurrect Voldemort. Here, we are given the object, how it's important, and why it needs to be destroyed. Whereas in Lord of the Rings, we are told the ring has power, but not what sort of power it has, or why it has it, or even how it got it to begin with. The most we get is the ring has power, Sauron wants the ring, so it must be thrown into a volcano at Mount Doom is an explanation. I mean, the lack of explaining the mechanics of magic in Equestria doesn't really affect the bulk of the series. Partly because the magical solution usually backfires, but mostly because magic doesn't really play that much importance in the majority of the episodes, even in other two-parters like the pilot episodes. But Tarek wanted all the magic in Equestria, which makes the hows and whys much more important. In fact, the biggest why is missing. Why did Tarek want all the magic in Equestria? Most villains in MLP are given a clear goal, whether it be spite, chaos, control, we know why they're doing what they're doing, and therefore we know why they need to be stopped. Whereas Tarek just seemed to be wanting power for power's sake. Of course! It seems that Tarek is the antithesis of Chrysalis. Where Chrysalis was clearly looking for food but was bad at planning, Tarek was good at planning but had no clear goal. 